So here's a problem that's very common on standardized exams like GMAT, SAT, ACT, GRE. And I've seen problems like this, the one you're seeing on the screen, also in middle school, maybe eighth grade, or high school text. It's a geometry problem. Looks fairly complicated. We are supposed to find the area of the shaded region, which is basically four green petals, quote unquote. And the, these four petals are made out of four semicircular arcs and the four petals are inside a square whose length is 10 centimeter. So we have to find the area and the perimeter of the shaded region. So let's see how we can do it. And it's a good idea to pause the video at, at this point in time and think about the problem and try to solve it on our own. But the solution follows. So how can we find the area of the four petals? These are the petals. This, 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 and this all together. How can we do that? Well, one way to do it would be to find the area of the square, this square, the entire square, and subtract the areas of the four white pieces. That's going to be our strategy. Now, in the second picture, I shaded these two white pieces and now I have two semicircles. So to find the air, some of the areas of these two white pieces, I'm going to use green, maybe red, that's a better choice. To find the air, some of the areas of these two white pieces, I'm going to find the area of the square and then from that I'm going to subtract the areas or some of the areas of these two semicircles this green semicircle plus this green semicircle. Note the two green green semicircles really if you put them together they form a circle and I know the area of a circle is equal to I'm gonna write it here area of a circle is equal to pi times radius square squared Now, I don't have a way to write pi properly, so I'm going to write pi. And pi is approximately equal to 3.142. That's the, that's the formula for the area of a circle. Now, to find, once again, I'm going to use the second picture to find the area of the two white pieces marked by two red dots. And how do I do that? 10 square is the area of the whole square. And pi r squared r is 5. If this length is 10, the radius of the semicircle here or here has to be 5. So pi 5 square is the area of the sum of the two semicircles or area of one circle. And if you do your algebra uh, mathematics correctly, 10 square is 100, 5 square is 25 pi. So 100 minus 25 pi is the area of the two white pieces marked by two red dots. You can apply the same principle here in the third picture and find the sum of the areas of these two white pieces and of course they're going to be exactly same as before which is 100 minus 25 pi. So from the second and the third picture I can conclude that the sum of the areas of these two white pieces is 100 minus 25 pi and the sum of the areas of these two white pieces is also equal to 100 minus 25 pi. As we discussed earlier, that area of the four green leaves is really equal to area of the square minus some of the areas of these four white pieces. That's essentially what I'm doing right over here. 10 square is the area of the square and 2 times 100 minus 25 pi. Why 2? 2 times 100 minus 25 pi because um, 100 minus 25 pi is the is the area of these two white pieces and also the same number is the area of these two white pieces so I multiplied by 2 and not by 4 of course and you really want to understand where this 2 is coming from don't try to memorize it now if you do your math right this part is going to be 
you can simplify this expression as follows. 10 squared is 100. 2 times 100 is 200. And 2 times 25 pi is negative 2 times negative 25 pi is going to be positive 50 pi. And if you subtract 200 from 100, you're going to get negative 100 and you're going to get 50 pi. This could be your answer, but if you want your answer in decimal, the approximate answer is 57.07963. That's the area of the four green leaves. This plus this plus this plus this is about about 57.7963. Now let's find the perimeter of this shape, the same shape. Now the perimeter is not that bad. Why? Because essentially the region is surrounded by four semicircular arcs. One, two, three, four. The region is surrounded by four semicircular arcs. Now, each semi the length of a whole circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. 2 pi r. r is 5, but I only want half a circle. Let's say I'm trying to find out the length of this semicircular arc. The whole circle, if I could complete it like this, would be 2 pi r, where r is 5. But I want to, want to divide it by 2 or multiply it by half because I only want a half of the semicircle. So it will turn out to be 5 pi. So each semicircular arc must be 5 pi centimeters long. I have 4 of them, so I multiply 5 pi by 4, I get 20 pi. Once again, if you want your answer in decimal, if you multiply 20 by 3.142, you're going to get 62.8318. That's your final answer.